Hi, so this is my top 10 most coolest packaging in my K-pop CDs. Because you know K-pop, they like making crazy ass packaging for their CDs. Well, most of the time, like these ones excluded, like whatever. So number 10, I'm going to take it out the bag. I talked about this in another video. It's Secrets. Letter from Secret. This album was so unique. It was very cute packed, like, Letter from Secret. It comes in, like, this envelope. Like, that's really dope. And then it has, like, I'll just show you a little bit. It has, like, this cute, like, concept. Like, and then here, it's just, like, a photo book with, like, these lovely pictures and stuff. CD. Really cute album. Really unique. Like, I've never seen someone make an album that was, like, this like envelope like that's really dope like that's that was good i like unique packaging wonder girls wonder party number nine this thing comes in like a plastic envelope like pouch and it's full of photo cards and stuff like this was so cool like like that's interesting of course they can't stand on its own like some of the other albums but still that's dope I loved it. It was really good. Number eight would be Girls' Generations, The Boys. This is the not repackaged version. Like, it comes in a tin box. Like, that's... That by itself is, like, so cool. Like, and it comes with, like, these photo card stuff. Like, this album was really cool. Because this is one of my first K-pop albums. And I saw it, and it came like this tin, and I was like... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like, American CDs, what? <laughs> Number seven is B2B's Press Play. Not only does the photo book come out, like, you can take it out and stuff, but you open it up and you're like, oh, cute. Look at this. Yo, that is a pop up to the pop up. Like, I was like, yo, that is so, that is too cool. Like, I love pop-up books. I still do. Like, every time I see one, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And this CD was like a pop-up. I was like, ah. So I was like, deaf. That is some unique packaging right there. I know there's other pop-up CDs like Rainbow's second album, Rainbow Syndrome. That one, I saw that. Gina's Bloom. Like, all sorts of good stuff. Number... <laughs> Six and these ones are like humongous. Sistar 19, gone out of running the longer. Like, this thing is humongous. It's just a photo book. Like, you have beautiful pictures, super dope. Like, there's a CD. This album, it was just so good. Like, packaging, it was it was on point. Everything on this album was on point. Number five is Secrets third mini album Poison Big Dirty Box Like this was it's like a box. It came with two posters, which is dope. You had the C D beautiful. I also love it because like look at all this purple. Do you know my favorite color is purple? And it comes with this thick, fresh, beautiful, high quality photo book. Like ain't nothing wrong with that. Like and it's really durable, so like you, if you take good care of your albums, this one's gonna last you because it comes in heavy duty packaging. Like, ain't nothing gonna be like coming through here. Like, this album, you could probably knock someone out. <laughs> Just be like, I like you. <clears throat> number five. No, number four. Not as sturdy as Secret, but still just as cool. Four minutes volume up this album and it comes in like this thinny like cardboard so be careful because you definitely will get it a little damaged when it arrives in the mail but like the design is just like look at that peekaboo and it like flips up and you got the photo cards that was my bad oh well luckily it's in this plastic so it's safe you got the photo cards you have this lovely cd like it is just classy like it looks really good I like it's raised like you can see like the tech the stuff on the cover is raised I just love it like this album 
And it's not that expensive for this album. It's only like $15 or something. And I bought it. So you're getting a lot for your money. Like, whoa. Number three is TR is Temptastic. This album is humongous. It's a hard book. Like, okay, the concept is iffy. But you get this for your money? I was like, yo, look at that, look at that. Like, that is humongous. It's humongous, like, it's bigger than my face. Number three. Number two would be I Get Last Fantasy. Super amazing. It comes in this humongous pizza box type thing. You have the CD. The regular CD itself is humongous. And, like, it flaps up. It, like, flaps up with the flaps. And stuff like that. Like, that is so cool. And it has a photo book. But what do you get? Because it's a special edition. This thick photo book of her transformation into making this album. Like, she gave a lot in this CD. Like, this is what it looks like. I'll try to hold it up for you. Like, yo. It's big. It's bold. It's bad. Like, oh my gosh. This thing is heavy as hell. And my number one craziest packaged album, y'all know, no, 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 B.A.P.'s Crash. This album is heavy, it's humongous, it's bright orange, like, it's so, it's like really heavy. And it comes with like a freaking humongous sized postcard things. Like, look how big this is. You're probably going to fill up a whole wall. There's like hella postcards. This album was stuff. So that is my top 10 most favorite packaged K-pop albums. Of course they're humongous and they have a weird... Of course they're like humongous though. Well like the last ones were. Like they're humongous. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh, shelf space, right? But when people come over that don't know about K-pop, they're like, oh my gosh, what's that? I'm like, that's a CD. They're like, no way. I'm like, yes. That is my top 10 most favorite packaged K-pop CDs. Bye.